kind of how the day has gone. Just kind of dreary and slow. Hey, Claude Hoppers, how you doing today? Just wanted to uh, tell you it's been a dreary day today. Uh, as I mentioned when I picked up the one egg, it's just been one of those kind of days. Uh, I was feeding the animals and I was getting to the rabbits and it started sprinkling. So, got them finished up without, show, uh, without videoing. Sorry about that, but I know you've seen that plenty of times. And I did want to mention that I did go into town to do some grocery shopping earlier today. And it was raining pretty hard on and off while I was out and about. Malachi fell asleep 10 minutes before we got home. So he didn't get a long nap in the car. I got him out to take him in so he could put him um, for his longer nap and he wouldn't go back to sleep. So I had to spend some, some time, some time being an hour um, in the room with him before he actually fell asleep to where if I moved, he wouldn't wake up. I just want to talk to you about something that's been on my mind quite a bit lately. And that is the use of the word best. So that word best, I'm not going to be focusing on the word best itself, but a phrase that a lot of people use um, when they use the word best, like all time best or the greatest ever or all time great. I tend to not like that phrase because people tend to in society think that whatever's going on right now at the present moment is the best thing and that may be the case but it may not be the case and as a person that has studied um, history in some college classes it just strikes me strikes me as being odd that we would think that way because there were some things that they used to do back 100 200 500 a thousand years ago that could have that could be better than what we're doing today for instance growing our own food our our society says that if one farm or several huge farms grow grow our food that's the best way because you can get the most out of it and you can get uh, the the best of whatever crop is being grown and Let's not care about what types of corn, of, I say corn, plants uh, or crops that are being grown, but just grow it, one crop on that farm and mass produce it as best as best we can. But to me, that's not the best way to do things. And again, that phrase, best to me. Well, again, best is always a matter of opinion. And what's best to, to me may not be the best to someone else. Um, and it's just one of those things we just probably need to figure out a better way to say things. Like, in my opinion, this is best. Or, in my opinion, I like this. Now, I'm saying this not because of anybody saying best all time this or this is the greatest of all time in any of their videos or in in news things or anything like that is just something that's been on my heart um, lately when I've been trying to figure out at the back end of last week what I'm going to do for this week for a video and today just seemed like a perfect day when it wasn't the best day outside it was a dreary day it made it to where I was inside more than I was outside except for when I went out to go do errands and get groceries so it's just one of those things that no one way is is always the best and always the proven way proven as in it's always going to work 100 percent of the time for a lot of people the no-till method or the back to back to eden method of gardening is best for them for us it'll probably be more of a very low till till uh method of gardening where we're we're going to um use the broad fork to Kind of loosen the soil soil before we start planting so that it makes it um to where we can aerate the ground but also leave those micro stratas um pretty much in their same place because when you use a broad fork you're not actually turning the ground over a lot you're just um 
lifting it up and giving it some some air pockets so so more nutrients can get into the ground but again that's for us for others there may be other ways to do it some people like to just till the ground every season and do it that way because it makes it easier quicker and it doesn't take as much time out of their day to do it which is fine we're just trying to do this the most natural way we know which as a homesteader that's what we're looking for we're looking for keeping things natural as best we can when i say that you know using for us using non-gmo heirloom seeds when we plant our garden giving our animals more of what they normally would eat if they were out in the wild living in a way that if they were in the wild not captive this is how they would live that's what we're trying to emulate now are we at that point now as homesteaders no we are not but we want to get to that point and by trying to do whatever is the best in in the greatest way to do things may not always work for us and again we'll just have to try and see if it works if it doesn't great if it does awesome so we'll just keep on trying new things learning new things and doing things in different ways that we may not have done before or if we figure out the way that works best for us we'll just keep on doing it that way and maybe um, adapting a little bit here and there if we see other things that make that could work um, even better than the way we're doing it so I know this is a weird little bit video but I just wanted to put that out there because it's been on my mind um, as I said for, for a little while and I just wanted to get that um, out there and let you guys know that it's always good to look for new ways to do things because not everything that we do is going to be the best way and it may be working but we could be doing things better now as i said doesn't necessarily mean that everything we're doing is not is not working it's just that maybe little bits and pieces could be improved upon and that's what we need to look for as homesteaders is how do we improve things day by day as we keep going so Hope you guys got something out of this video. Hope you guys had a blessed day. And we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye. Hey, Clodhoppers. Thanks for watching the video. Push the thumbs up to like the video. Also, hit that subscribe button, also the bell, so that you can get notifications when our videos come out. Check us out on our social media pages, too. We have Facebook and Pinterest, and soon we'll have Instagram. The links are below. Bye, y'all! Bye! <laughs> Good job.